All right, Taurus. So once again, we're going to do your messages from your person reading for March 2022. You guys are just going to get a bonus. You guys have been really showing out on the channel this month. That's why you guys are getting so many bonuses and stuff. Because <laughs> there's so many. Yeah. So you guys, thank you so much. Please remember to give this video a like. Comment down below about your situation. I love to hear about it. And also subscribe to the channel. Um, and thank you to all you guys who support the channel. Please remember to give this video a like here. Thumbs up button is just beneath the video screen, whether you're watching it on your phone or on your laptop or a personal computer or even a desktop, whatever you choose, or even a tablet. I don't have those. I never had a tablet before in my life, you guys. All right, you guys. So what messages does your person have for you, Taurus? Taurus, what message does your person have for you this month for March 2022? Ooh, remember to think of this person and focus on them visual i'm just joking no but focus on them and you can visualize them if you'd like okay and then let's get into it okay i'm just adjusting my jesus my baby jesus he's not a baby yeah he's a big boy okay it's probably gonna fall this is like such a so roly poly -oly. reminds me of one of my cats <laughs> people keep on trying to devastate my cats all right so taurus your person what they want to tell you is that they're your soulmate they um are like breaking out of it's like this person doesn't want to deal with drama anymore they don't want to deal with fake folks they don't want to deal with people who are stealing from them tearing them down so they're coming closer to themselves and coming closer to you as as a result and cutting out people who have separated them from you but this person is having a new beginning in loving themselves and being friends with themselves, being their friend. This person has never really been a friend to themselves, okay? So they never really kept friends around them because they were never a friend to themselves. And this person, they see you as their friend, but this is mainly like this person is just being their own friend and their own lover, their own everything, their own confidant. And this person, you know, through this process, they have reconnected with you. They want a new, a new chance at being with you or they want to be with you, reconcile with you, whatever way you guys have been distant emotionally, especially. And they want to make this happen for the two of you guys. They want to reconcile. That's the first message that they want to tell you is that they want to be with you. They want to call you their boyfriend, girlfriend, their husband, wife and they want to put the past behind them. They want to make peace with the past. They want to make it right with you if they wronged you and they just want to be in love. They just only want the two of you. That's it. This person just wants you and them. And this person has been making plans. This person has been setting intentions. Yes. <laughs> yes, they have. Ooh, yes. Ooh, under the moonlight. Um and they've also been making, you know, making plans, you know. They have been spending a lot of time and they're spending so much time just imagining the two of you guys being together and um sending out signs to you and then waiting to see if you receive and this person is waiting to hear from you or this person is just ready to go they want to go with you they're a little bit afraid that you know things will not move forward between you and them they lack faith and trust when it comes to that but they're getting back on the saddle around planning for this connection they're working on not lacking trust and faith when it comes to that. This person has received a new offer of love, a new offer, a new opportunity. They want, it's, it's funny because this person, they want this new offer and this new beginning with you, but I feel like someone else is offering them a new beginning. So this person is going to take this new beginning as a chance to get grounded and realize like why they have been in a situation or a cycle that they don't want to be in. It's because they take opportunities that they don't really want. <laughs> so then they're around people that they don't really love and then they're just devastated down. This person is putting an end to that. This person, they want to get married to you. They want to have a new beginning with you. They want to offer you a chance to move in together, to live together, to be together to strengthen the bonds and to bring prosperity to, to the two of you guys' union and relationship. And they have put to bed, they have ended 
a long standing phase in their life this person has completely changed they're going through a change this month that they sanctioned for like they they decided to go for it in themselves because they're tired of the way things have been and they want a rebirth something in their life has died so something new can be can be born they're having a rebirth i'm like trying to say this in a way that makes sense <sighs> you know i feel sometimes i feel like i'm just talking around a circle over and over and over, and over again you know perhaps that's what this person feels like they kind of feel like they're dealing with a madhouse and so they've cut out the madhouse they've cut out the madhouse inside of themselves so they don't deal with the madhouse outside anymore something in their life is ending and has ended and they're going to talk to you about this they want to talk to you about this this person they have transformed this is so strange because it doesn't have anything to do with you and it's, I'm not picking up that this has anything to do with you, but that, yet this is a message that this person has for you. They're working on their happiness, Taurus. And this person is working on staying focused on their goals, taking action towards their goals. They've had a sudden shift, a sudden change, a, a letter message come in that is causing them to shift, move. They're being forced to move out of a situation, even though this is happy for them. It is sudden, it's unexpected, it's kind of harsh and sharp. But this person is cutting ties with people who tear them down, who tell them that things will not work out anymore, uh, or things will not work out, period. They're cutting ties with these folks because of this sharp change that is going on in their life. But it's still devastating for them, you know? But it's only devastated, devastating because these folks here that they're being cut out of their life made it so this person saw this as devastating. So they're cutting ties with people who are abusive and toxic and manipulative. And this person is just following their heart. They're not, like, you're not, this is not somebody who we're reading on that has a lot of heavy, dark, deep, and oh, they might be a deep person because they've experienced a lot of experiences. They've had a lot of profound emotional experiences that devastated them. So they have deep emotions. But this person, they're not deep and dark and manic, depressive and crazy and like complicated. They're not complicated. This person just doesn't do it. If they don't want that outcome, they just don't do it. Period. This person, their, their love for you is oh my god it's so deep this their love is particular they're, they're about to follow their heart this month do you see this they're about to follow their heart this month this is a twin flame connection this is so unexplainable this person is going through something this month that's so unexplainable this is so unexplainable oh my god You're going to have a peaceful resolution to the situation that you guys have been in. This person, it's like something, I, I'm just hearing no. Like, um, this person, it's like there's all these things and all these different people and all these different situations that have just come and muddled and fucked up everything. And they're so irritated, but they're just done with it. They just want to be with you. That's it. I don't know what else you're looking for. It's hard to be around niggas. You feel like you can't make them happy and stuff. And it's because they can't, they will never, it's like people that show up, like you guys, when you guys show up, like, can you tell me, da, da, da. it's like, but that's the manic, crazy motherfucker inside of you. This person is not dealing with that anymore. Okay. Stop doing that. You're driving everybody crazy. You don't have to open your mouth to drive me crazy. You understand that? If you've been here a while, you probably know. Okay. Drives me crazy. Okay. Relax. This person is just straightforward. They want to reconcile, but there's nothing fucking wrong with you. You're just dealing with a karmic. Like this person is cut out of their life. They're letting go. This person is trying to tell you to let go. And that just, there's something better in the sense that this person doesn't want to throw you away. It's just like, there's a better reason for why things happen the way that they happen. There's a better reason for um, situations to pan out the way that they pan out. There's just something better that's actually better for the two of you guys, okay? I just also feel like... Ugh, Oh, this person is in a space where they feel they're having a new beginning in love, just so you know, okay? They're not in that headspace that's overcome. They don't, they don't, they don't overcomplicate things. Anytime it's overcomplicated, over there's just, you have an enemy around you. You have somebody around you who doesn't want you to have it. Every time things get overcomplicated, somebody just doesn't want you to win. That's it. There's nothing wrong. This person is just... They're investing and they're realizing who has caused frustrations in their life and delays. And it's people who come in and they're like, oh, shouldn't you do it? This is the right. Those motherfuckers, right? Those people, they never have anything grow in their life, right? And this person, they cut these folks out of their life. 
that's why I'm kind of going crazy a little bit. Don't bring that energy. But that's probably what, if y'all have it, that's why you're not together. Because you're carrying that energy. This person let that shit go. Okay? Spirit is protecting this person. They've cut ties with bullshitters. They're not dealing with them. So they'd rather just not talk to anybody. They're very focused. And that's why I'm getting so irritated. They're very focused. They're very focused, Taurus. They're very focused on um, charming something out of a bag, which is difficult, which is poisonous, which is dangerous. They need to keep their attention. They need to keep their eye on the prize. They can't get sucked into toxicity. You guys are being toxic, Taurus, period. You're being toxic. Their enemies are dying. Do you understand this person? The people who decided to be toxic in this person's life, that they never chose a, a devastating, they didn't choose a rough life. You did. They didn't choose a rough life. So anybody that's wanting to be hard and rough in their life, they're dying. Or they're gonna drop that part. They're gonna stop being so rough and tumble and devastating and stuff. That's it. This person just chooses happiness. They choose you and they choose happiness. And I feel like, this person, you are like feeling like, oh, um, oh, oh, if you believe that there's something better than you and someone better than you, someone better than you will show up. Okay. Just so you can understand. And then you might get to know them and realize that, that person's trash because that person is not better than you. They're just trying to knock you down so they feel better than you. You need to let go. And the answer is no. I feel like you guys are worried. I feel this energy of like, oh, I don't know who's doing it. It could be you. It could be them. This person's at peace. They're just, whatever they're saying, whatever I'm saying is straight up. They're so grounded. Whatever you're seeing, like, you see how this is a card? This is nothing but a card. This is nothing but just, I mean, it's a spiritual card. And I, God bless. This is beautiful. But this is a card. This person is grounded to reality. They're not looking at, at pieces of object, up objects and demifying them and, and, and edifying and doing all this they're just being straight up when it comes to you okay they're straight up it's like yes oh my god okay taurus i'm gonna go because you guys definitely deserved your uh, messages from your person reading definitely um but i also feel like you know this person what i said is what i said okay um people who they don't like are dying people who they who they are irritated with people who are trying to thwart them bring up people who are trying to bring up it's like people are trying to bring a battle to somebody that has decided they don't want to battle and so they're having to battle for their lives in the hospital or just outside when they go driving they're bad they're battling for their lives and it's because they've shown up in your person's life and have decided to be an obstacle and to be frustration and cause delays and make this person have to be patient and stuff like they're saturn and stuff so these people are going through devastation and that's it. And so that's the reason why things are going awry or things seem to be a certain way. It's because something better is fit, fit, fitting its place or because you're not, nobody can tell you that there's something or someone better than you. Like there's just a lot of people around you guys that are out of pocket and they're out of line and they shouldn't be doing that, okay? But I also feel like this person is working on something. They've always felt like something was better out there than what they already had. And they needed to go through a transition, a change, an experience, a change, an ending, an experience, right? Where they realized that they're, and this person just frustrated them. This person burned their fruits. This, uh, this person that also was trying to be a third party, they got, they got, they got devastated down too. But they burned their physical efforts. They wasted their time. They, they just took their efforts and crumbled them away and threw them away. Okay? And so this person knows now that there's nothing better than you. And they, they've gone through being heartbroken. But they were already heartbroken before they met you, Taurus. That's why you couldn't thwart them down. Sorry you couldn't thwart the love of your life down. Okay? This person loves you so much. They just went through crazy shit. They are soulmates. This person is a twin flame. I'm looking at the two of cups and the lovers. The two of cups and the lovers and the sun. Spiritual enlightenment. This is your twin flame. This is a twin flame connection. Yes. Dynamic. They've gone through many things. Okay? And what they say to you is what they mean. And I feel like you guys are grounded. And this is good for you guys. Normally, your unwounded self would love this. But you guys were wounded. And so now this person is giving you a chance to... Step into your fullness of who you are and just be who you are and they will love you no matter what. 
where it's like you could just be pure. This person is very pure. Okay, I'm gonna head out, Taurus. There, I feel an energy of you guys overcomplicating things, and and overreading things, and overthinking things, and that's just that's you're just preparing your body and making it a perfect environment for a disease to get sick. When you're doing all that, you're just preparing your body to be a perfect place for a disease to incubate itself into. Just settle the fuck down and ground down and relax and just simplify it. Life is simple. Shit is so simple. Anytime anybody's overcomplicating it, they're a black magic witch and they're devastating folks. Or they're just trying to devastate you or trying to devastate folks and they're not a black magic witch and it's gonna blow up in their face. Or, you know, they're stupid. <laughs> or they're, they have a personality or mood disorder. Some of you guys have dealt too much with too many people who have personality disorders and mood disorders, okay? If you met this person in a certain environment where it was like a group of people, you have to think, who would these people be? They would be the type of people who other people would not accept because there's something wrong with them, because they have a personality disorder, or maybe because they were chastised, but they probably have a personality disorder, okay? That makes it so other people cannot interact with them and they don't deal with their personality disorder so everybody around them feels crazy this person has cut these folks out of their life and so should you but i feel like you have to this person has cut them out they these they, let's not even get into these folks but that's where everything starts to get so crazy it's like when you just open that that it's not even a box pandora didn't make it these are these just close it just close it just close it taurus okay they're done with them they're just focusing. They're trying to get out of the situation. They're trying to just get the answers. They're trying to get you back into their life and make this work out with you. They don't care about them. They never did. They never did. They never liked them. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Oof. But they're just, and so they just need to focus. And, and as soon as you come with that energy, that's what's going to bring up a separation, a block, a divide. It's going to cause uh, challenges to arise in your life, in this person's life. Because this person, they're not dealing with that. If you bring that energy, you'll break their focus. And they're working on something right now. It's very kundalini and stuff. It's very spiritual. And spirit will devastate you down if you fuck with this person in this time. So, you know, just be simple is what I'm trying to say. So if you're simple and it's simple, just pull up. If it's complicated, if there is any extra added ingredient that... It might not grow from the ground. Don't bring it to that person. They don't. They will not eat it. All right, Taurus. Much love to you all. I love you guys. Bye-bye, Taurus.